Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. I'm here at Bricks by the Bay 2019 and here with Laurie, who's one of the people who's brought a, what do you call this, a module? Um, it's a collection of modules. So uh, this is a Lego Great Ball Contraption. Uh, there is around 46 modules on the table uh, and they can range in size. It really depends on the individual builder. Um, so, um, for example, uh, we've got this mini golf behind us. Uh, that's actually a collection of nine individual modules. Uh, yeah, so for Great Ball Contraption Standard, about 10 years ago, um, a couple of people, uh, oh, actually a chap named Steve Hassenblag, wrote up a series of rules uh, that, we, uh, that define the size, the, the input size, the rate of the ball flow, uh, and a couple other parameters. Uh, and with those sort of six rules, it basically allows us to build uh, everything on the table behind us. Well, yeah. those are even with those six rules, the, the options are limitless. It feels like, especially with Lego. Yeah, it really is a, a question of imagination. Like, it obviously helps if you have a little bit of technical knowledge, because usually you're using a motor or you're using some gears for mechanical motion. But beyond that, like, if you can imagine it and you can imagine it in the Lego space, then you can you can build it into GBC. And it's a Rube Goldberg machine that at yeah. every single different convention you go to it's going to be a different arrangement. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like, uh, it's like some of the, um, like some of the machines obviously go around to a few conventions, like some of us do go to a few different areas. Um, but yeah, every convention there's going to be different creations. Depending on the group of people, you might get a lot of theme modules, like Minecraft theme or things like that. Um, this one's kind of more technical focused. There's a lot of nice technicals and stuff like that with a little bit of theming. Uh, it, it really varies yeah. from convention to convention. Yeah. And with a technical focus, it really feels like there's going to be troubleshooting non-stop where people are running around, looking yeah. at their modules and, yeah. and tweaking and, and, and tuning. And what you're <laughs> seeing to the left of us is people fixing something. <laughs> so GBC, it, it's hard, you know, it, it's, it's hard work, but it's fun. Like it's, we, when we run this during the public, we will, we will be at this station for the whole time, fixing, tuning, Keeping balls moving, pick up balls that have fallen out, um, but it's a lot of fun. You said uh, this mini golf one, which is so striking, it's, as, it's your modules, right? It These are your actually, nine? Yeah, the mini golf is actually something I built. Um, originally, I was just going to build the one, and, uh, and my wife said that'd be boring. So uh, I ended up building a full nine hole mini golf course. Um, but each one is still counted as an individual module. It meets the rules, so um, when I bring it, it still counts as nine modules towards the count on the day. And because it is mini golf and you have the little, the putters moving, it's, every, every hit is different, right? Like, yeah, like yeah, it, there's, there's the randomness to yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so it's, one of the challenges of great ball is like you do need to keep moving the balls on. So even with every random hit, it still needs to make it to the next hole. So like there's a couple of modules that like, uh, like there's, a, there's a pyramid one here where the ball can travel down the center path or it can fall in a couple of like, water gutters, but it always has to go to the next hole to keep the flow of balls moving. You never want to build up. You no, no, that's, uh, yeah, once you get a build up of balls and it, uh, it has a sort of a snowball effect down the end of the loop. Yeah. In, in terms of it, the design of it being a loop, does the yeah. shape of the loop, does that change from event uh, to event or is it? It, it can. So this loop is actually a figure eight um, just because of the way it ended up getting stuff. Typically it's running uh, in, a, in an anti anti-clockwise direction so uh, it'll but sometimes like if you know if you if you only got a few modules you might just run a line of modules on a table you might run around a corner um, once you get a bit bigger then you'll be running full sort of rectangular or circular loops yeah wow. it's very evocative of like miniature train sets and people building yeah. modules for that and connecting them and doing meetups but it's so much kinetic movement and and the diversity in, in builds and the, the colors, it's truly wonderful. Yeah, that's that's one of the things I really like about uh, like Great Ball Contraption is it's kinetic. So of, of, of the 40 odd st modules that are on the table, only two use programmable bricks. Mm. Everything else on this table is mechanical motion um, and, and all the different varieties you can do with that. So there's some really clever stuff on the table. Awesome, awesome. Are there modules here you've never seen before that for the first time you're meeting um, up with these teams and you're seeing how those work? Yeah, quite a few actually, because I'm sort of based on the East Coast. Um, um, so I have chatted with a few of these people online, but a lot I haven't seen in person. So there's some really cool stuff, like the train designs are really unique and new. Uh, there's a really cool counter on the table. And then there's some other clever mechanisms I've kind of seen around that is like, 
it's really it's fun to watch them online, but it's even better to kind of see them in person and see sort of the intricacies and the mechanism and, and the clever tips and tricks they've done and that kind of stuff. Any recommendations for people who are just getting started who want to participate? Um, yeah, look, I, I would say start with a simple set of instructions. There are a handful of great ball contraptions you can build from your listing Lego kits. Um, they're not always meeting standard or as reliable, um, but there are quite a few instructions online for simple to build kits, like less than 200 parts. Um, one of the simplest is like a chain lift mechanism. Uh, and if you're like, if you're into Lego and you're up to the technic building ages, sort of around 11, 12, although I do have kids that are already building at eight, um, then they can get straight into GBC. Like it's, you know, if you can build a, build a car that has some gears in it out of Lego kit, then you yeah. can build a Lego GBC kit. <laughs> awesome. It's great to see all come together. It's a pleasure to meet you, Laurie. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you.